Alright, hi. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Roblox t-shirt. So first, from home, if that's where you start at, um, you're going to go to inventory. Before I get into this video, I'm going to say you need to um, have paint.net. So just, if you don't have it already, go to www.getpaint.net. It's not the same as paint, so don't mistake it for it. You're going to need this link. I'll post it in the description below if I remember. Hopefully I do. And you're going to need maybe a logo that you want to, like, paste onto your shirt. Alright, so, start off, you obviously need to go to inventory, and then go to shirts, and then go to create. When I'm talking too fast, it's not loading. Alright, go to create. Those are all the shirts I've created from this and obviously I don't have a lot of sales. My best selling is the Avengers 2 shirt. Alright, so let's go. You need to download the Roblox template. It will say, did you finish the temp? I mean, did you use the template? If not, download it here. Click download it here. And then that will bring you up to the thing you need. Alright. Now go to... This is my failed attempt, so don't trust that. Alright, so I already have it open, but if you don't have it, just click open and it will bring you to folders, and then just get it from there. It usually is called Final Shirt Template, so just load that up. You're going to need the Rectangular Select tool. If you don't know where the history, colors, layers, and tools are, they're all up here, so just click these four things. I used to spend like hours looking for those. Alright, so delete the letters. You don't need those. Alright, now use the magic wand. The magic wand makes it so you can, like, it picks out the details and then delete some if you don't want them. So just go like that and delete every single one. Because you don't need it. Alright. We just gotta wait for it. Because I. Alright. So now. You're going to want to. Create a new layer. And since I'm making a Superman shirt. I want it to have Superman colors. So. You're going to go into background. And. Wait no. First. If you're making a short sleeve like I am. You're going to want to create, like, I usually go like that. I mean, not like that. Hold on. I messed up. Use rectangle, select thingy, and then, like, go about right there. That's decent. Alright, there we go. Now, get this, and I zoom in for this. Because I like to be precise on these things. So. And I make the... It's like a... I don't know what they call it. It's like... It's weird. So I'm going to delete that real quick. And then create... Make it black. And I'm going to... Draw right there. Alright, drag across the whole thing. Alright, this is what it looks like. It's like, it just adds a little bit more detail. And it'll help you out in the future. So, make sure to do that. It's key. You need it. Alright, so, now we're going to color it. So, color that... It's going to be blue, so we're going to switch it, and then just click them all. Alright, now go to layer 2, and just get this, copy it from here, and then um, paste it. And if you don't know how to paste it right off the bat, just go to File, New, and then it will say something like click OK. 
and then just click OK, and you will be able to paste it from there. So we're going to copy this, copy, paste. Make sure it's in the second layer. Don't put it into the other layer because it will just mess everything up. And then alright delete that because you don't need that extra sa shade and then I'm gonna delete this like it's like little horns I don't like that like it's just not good I don't like it it covers up the logo alright so we're gonna copy the logo and I like to paste some people don't like to paste it into here because look what it does to the shade and then you have to be even more precise so I'm not going to do that and make sure you don't do that because you'll have to control Z if you end up not wanting it alright so add new layer control V and see how it just doesn't even mess with the shade now you can put it in there see put it onto the image there we go I like it alright so that's pretty much it all we have to do right now so we're gonna um, save as and then don't put paint.net pdn go png oh let me name it Superman, no, just Superman. All right, save, and then I'll show that save configuration. Flatten, flatten the image so it will just merge all the layers down. There we go, and then it's saved, I believe. And then to upload it, oh yeah, just copy one from here, copy and then paste it into a new one alright so go to Roblox choose file I'm gonna do the Superman so just find it there open upload a shirt su successfully created there we go and then I'm gonna refresh so I can see it. I gotta wrap it up soon. All right. So um, you can configure it. All right. So and there are other ways to just copy other people's shirts, but that's not cool. You should be original. It's not fair to others who have worked hard on those shirts. I I have mine labeled as XP Designs. So you can add your little thing to Superman. I'm gonna title it Superman shirt XP Designs. And this was made on 5/18/2015, May 15th. So it's not outdated at all. This still works. I I've been making search for a while now. Allow comments. You can edit this stuff. I'm selling it for ten Robux, one hundred tickets. All right. So there it is. It's pending right now. Robux has to approve of it. It usually does get approved. One of mine didn't. It was a no meme shirt. Like no meme. I don't know why it got deleted. I'll show you what it looks like. If if you're wondering why your shirt won't pop up er anywhere, this is what it looks like if it's, it's like got deleted or something. All right, this has been my tutorial on how to make a shirt. If it helped you, leave a like, subscribe, friend me. As you know, follow me. Um, if you want to buy my shirts, I'll have a link in the description. I'll have links for all the things you see in this video. And see ya.